In front of me I have both colors of the new Xperia Arc from Sony Ericsson. So this is the one called Misty Silver. I thought I would show you some of the design of course and, and also some of the UI. So the main design features of the Xperia Arc are of course the, the big black screen. It really is deeply black so you won't even be able to see the edge between the screen and, and the border surrounding it. And of course the Arc styled very very super slim design of this phone. It's 8.7 millimeters on the middle and also a bit bit arc shaped which makes it really nice to hold in your hand. So on this side we have the camera button, the volume buttons and the micro USB jack. The back side has a nice metallic finish to its painting and also of course the Exmor R camera which makes it possible to take pictures in in very poorly lit conditions where you actually wasn't even able to take pictures with your mobile phone before. And on this side we have a 3.5mm audio jack. On the top we have the power button and we also have an HDMI jack, micro HDMI, to connect this to your flat screen TV at home. So that was Misty Silver. We also have Midnight Blue, which is black on the front side and then on the back has a very very nice metallic finish gradient from, from silver bluish to, to black like that and of course the arc shape is really really visible when it comes to these black colors in contrast to those metallic edges And as I said, it's really, really black when it's in standby, but if I turn it on, it has a really big, vivid screen that uses Bravia engine technology from Sony, which makes pictures and videos look like they were intended to, look really, really natural and real. And what you see here are the five different desktops that you can navigate like this and you also have a, a pane down here with your four favorite applications. You can put whatever you want there. In the middle you up, open up the main menu panes which then extends to the right if you add more applications. You can actually sort this alphabetically or, or, or the way you want it or actually also depending on which applications are used the most. So this one is just fresh from the box so this is the one I've been using for a while so here you will see that I've added some more widgets and, and shortcuts and so to my desktop and this one is the media pane that replaces Mediascape what it does is that it's a widget based access to all your media so here you have your music with direct control here you can actually scroll your photos directly in this widget and this is a, an, an access widget to get to your photos in the gallery or videos in the gallery or to the music player, the full music player. I'll show you more of this in upcoming videos as well. There's also a nice feature of, of these widgets being interactive, so you can actually scroll Timescape directly on the desktop instead of going into an application. There's also this pinch to overview function, which gives you a nice overview of all your widgets. So if I click a widget here, I come to the desktop where that widget is.